Welcome to the fall edition of our Fast Forward program. I'm Carolyn Cauley, and I'm president of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation. I see so many old and longtime friends of the Chamber and the Foundation, and we've got new guests as well. People have come in from California and Texas and New York. So whether you've come from quite near or very far, we're sure glad to have you. At the Foundation, our mission is to educate the public on what business does to do well, do good, and prepare for the future. We come to work every day thinking about the velocity of change going on around us. And there are so many uncertainties and a lot of opportunities that can be unearthed. So that's why we do these programs. It's where we take a minute or a morning and look ahead at new innovations and new thinkers who are shaping the way that we live and work, and in this case, the way we play and engage with sports. And over the last year, we have taken a look at everything from robots and drones to Bitcoin technology, blockchain, future of food, future of work. And we've had a huge array of speakers. Um, the people that come to these programs are CEOs of big companies that you've all heard of, um, founders of small ones. We've had inventors, scientists, brand experts. But today is special. I don't think we've ever had a racing president before, so please welcome our 26th president from the Washington Nationals, Teddy Roosevelt. That's so fun. Wait, Teddy, come on out here. Well, as you have seen at games and in the pictures, Teddy is always at the end of the racing president's race. For years, he had six winless years, 500 straight losses at the back of that race. But you persevered, right? And the community and the city got behind him. Most, you know, mascots have fans, but this guy launched a movement. It was called Let Teddy Win, and he finally did. He had campaign buttons, he had signs. He's wrapped up a few wins since then. But I don't know if I'm allowed to hug you. Can we hold hands? But he, oh, he's so tall. <laughs> um, hey, shake. Great. But he never lets anything get him down, except we had to show this one clip of the Easter Sunday takedown last year. Do you remember the Easter Bunny trying to detain Teddy on his race? <laughs> Oh, that was bad. That was bad. But she got up and kept on ticking, right? <laughs> you're funny. All right. Well, listen, we know that your time is short, um, but you're going to take the Nats to the playoffs here shortly, right? The news this morning, the news this morning is that the first game will be against the Cubs. But listen, here's the question. It's what we're all asking this morning. It's really why I think we're all here. Are you going to take the Nats to the World Series and bring home a title for the first time? Yeah? All right. We'll be watching. Thank you, Teddy. Great. All right. High fist bump. High five. We didn't practice this at all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> Isn't this a great sports city? We are so lucky to live in a place that has sports teams in baseball and basketball, football, hockey, and my personal favorite, soccer. As a soccer mom, we love DC United. And we're only one of five cities in the country to have that number of teams. And they bring us so much joy and fun, and they unite our communities. And it's big business, too. It's serious business. I was just reading the other day that the American sports market is on track to hit $70 billion coming up soon. There's change happening throughout. Certainly, everything about content and distribution is changing. We've got players to keep safe, fans who need to be engaged in new ways, and a lot of jobs that need creating. And we really care a lot about that here at the Chamber and the Foundation. So that's the program we've constructed for you today. All of the speakers that you'll hear from are at the forefront of those changes. And you know, the other thing that's moving fast is you. 
We know how hard it is to get out of your office and get out of your inbox and come and spend a morning looking ahead at the future. But you're here and you've committed to do that. So our commitment to you is a great program that's gonna start rolling right now with Sports Forward. Thank you. Welcome to the future of sports. Athletes pushing themselves to new limits. Breaking through barriers for personalized tech. Innovations shaping what they eat, wear, and even the world they see. Unlocking next level performance with custom transformative training. Fans feel the excitement like never before. Immersive experiences. Global access. Upfront viewing that's personalized, thrilling, and real. New ways to watch, play, and engage. Businesses embrace the challenge of change, creating new opportunities, better and more jobs across all kinds of industries. The traditional and emerging unite. A new kind of arena with even more competitors. This is the future. This is Sports Forward. How is everyone? Okay, we are here and I know that you all are very excited to be here as well as I am. I'm Lisa Varga and I will be your host for Sports Forward. I'm thrilled to be here today as we hear from an accomplished and inspirational group of speakers. From Olympic gold medalists to savvy entrepreneurs, industry veterans and former athletes who are changing the game for future generations. For those of you who may be attending a foundation event for the first time, you'll see that things move pretty quickly here. So we know that a topic as big as the future of sports cannot be covered in a matter of hours or even weeks. But what we're gonna accomplish today is the hope that by focusing on three themes, investment and innovation, entrepreneurism, and leadership, we will give you a better sense of where the sports industry is heading. In the spirit of keeping this moving, please save your questions until the end and connect with our speakers during the post-event networking reception. Uh, and then I hope that you all had a chance to enter the prize giveaway when you arrived this morning. I'll be announcing the winners later in the program, so please stay tuned. Prizes will be awarded to attendees who are present for the announcement, so we wanna make sure that you're here. Uh, we'll keep drawing until we have a winner in the room. So, our first three speakers are preparing to take the stage to discuss investing in innovation.